Welcome to Cody Catch Up. My name is Jamie Jones, and this is a refresher and important announcement in regards to making sure your site is kept marked as secure in Chrome as of October 2017. Okay, so I spoke about this a fair while ago on the podcast. If you haven't checked out the podcast series, please do check it out at codecatchup.com, but it also does get published to this YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to be notified uh, about when those podcasts come out. Now, back uh, in a, a fair while ago, I think it was like April or so, uh, Chrome basically set out a notice, or announced a notice rather, that says that... Um, your site's going to be marked as insecure in the future, and it's going to be staged. So basically, as of October, that they were planning for, I think it was like a Chrome 62-ish release, um, that sites are going to start to be marked as insecure, or not secure, in the uh, address bar. And this is really important because a lot of your customers are going to start to see this. Uh, so they gave a fair bit of ramp up time for allow you to uh, update your sites to use SSL or be encrypted in some fashion. So. Uh, the easiest way was let's encrypt. Uh, that's my personal opinion because it, one, it's free and a lot of hosting providers are providing that service for free to you and it's usually like a one-click kind of setup, which is really, really nice. Uh, so now October's run around um, and it, it, it's starting to happen essentially. So once these browsers start to be updated to the latest version of Chrome, uh, as of in October um, when I'm recording this, you're gonna to start to see those effects, but how do they and when do they come up? So this isn't the full uh, full not secure, that's gonna be happening I think next year sometime. Uh, but basically in normal browsing mode in, in Chrome, uh, when you visit a site that isn't secure just over HTTP, nothing's gonna happen, it'll still be marked as normal. But as soon as you uh, click into like an input uh, field of some sort, so like a contact form for example, might also happen with search forms, I haven't actually checked that out. Uh, but then it will uh, display in the, the address bar that the site is not secure. Now, if you're in incognito mode, uh, when you just visit the site, it's on page load, it will show it as not secure straight away. Uh, so these things are very important to note. And this is, I think, one more step prior to when it just marks everything that runs over HTTP as not secure. So it's really important that you update your sites to use SSL where possible. Uh, I think m for the most part, these are solved problems for you. Uh, and depending on your hosting provider or your server setup, you should be able to do it fairly easily. Uh, but uh, again, it's gonna really depend on uh, how your hosting provider sets up their service and what they provide. If they don't provide it, I definitely recommend contacting your hosting provider to see what options they have available or potentially even moving the site because it is something important, uh, not only for your customers, uh, but also for pushing the web forward in general to make sure that we're having a, a safer uh, web and experience for our customers and users of our websites. That's all I really got for this episode or this video. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any. Uh, and if you really, in like the, really enjoyed this video, rather, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to find out more about any released videos. The little bell icon will also notify you straight away as soon as the video is published. There's going to be a lot more of those coming out very soon. So other than that, we'll catch you next video. Bye.